talk about national service. Uh, why do you think people do? Who, who do you do, do national you do service? Government? Do you do it for yourself? For the nation? I say for the Hafash, right? Do we say Awan Hafash? Say again, Awan Hafash? Awan Hafash. Say it loud, Awan Hafash? Awan Hafash. Why do we say Awan Hafash though? Because we have to serve the masses. Can the masses pay you? The masses cannot pay you. It's not corporations. It's not a big business that can pay you monthly payments. So you serve the Hafash uh, without, the, without the payment part. So we take it back to the uh, to the his historical part of it. You serve so that other young people that are doing the service, you're actually helping them. Mind you, if you put a hands on this trunk, that means you're helping, instead of eight people, it will be 10 people. Instead of 30,000 uh, army, it will be 50,000, it will be 100,000. You're helping your brothers and sisters, right? And the means to empower the masses of our people is service. And then it says empowerment of our masses is the basis for our existence. Without the masses, we don't exist. Hello. So we get to the next one. Harbanya ato wada awada mara say. رئيس أنا لأن ناتنا حلاوي زي أور حلاوي وي زي حلاوي هي. Okay, existence or not existence. That is the definition. What defines ناتنا? That's what it means. So if we want to keep our ناتنا, we have to have existence. If we want to keep our existence, we have to empower the masses. To empower the masses. We have to do national service. That goes to all young people. I don't know if you can say it, but uh, it's supposed to be a Saurawi professionals serving the masses. The reason I say Saurawi is I was reading this book that says uh, revolutionary doctors. It's uh, a school, a medical school in, uh, in Cuba. And all the doctors that, that get education, they get it for free. They come from the US, they come from Venezuela, from different places, from Africa, and they teach them for free. But when you finish, you have to serve the masses. That's the catch, you have to serve the masses. So not just doctors, if you're engineers. Our brother Hanuk is an MBA. He went to serve. For me, he is a Sorawi, a revolutionary MBA. He is not the corporation's MBA. Uh, so that means you have to tap on your potential. As a, you're a student, you're a professional, you have a job. Are you an engineer? Are you a lawyer? What can you do for your country? What can you do for the masses? For the people that cannot pay for your service? How can you better their life? Is there anything better or bigger than this? Seriously? Is there anything bigger than this? You can read one textbook and understand science, right? You can read a textbook and understand agriculture, how to do it better. And you can help a farmer uh, produce more, increase production just by reading, by understanding. Me and you are capable to do this, right? Uh, and, uh, and then also look into the future. Where is the future in technology? Now they talk about nanotechnology. Now they talk about. Uh, physics, uh, biotechnology. 
Maybe some of the big things that we have internet might be something of something of the past. What does that mean to our country? Does technology help our country? Of course. Believe it or not, we didn't have we didn't have a, a, the infrastructure for underground landline telephones, but now people have cell phones. We jumped that part. We jumped that technology. Cell phones. Now you go into Karen or Asmara somewhere. You see someone on a gamut talking on a cell phone. <laughs> that actually show you also uh, social justice. Cell phone is not just for people that have money, but for anyone that needs it. Even a farmer. A farmer that they they can call their friends in Asmara and say, hey, what's the price? So if you go to countryside, you want to buy food items, they will charge you the Asmara, the Asmara price. They will call and say, okay, they will charge you Asmara price. So that's a, that's a big difference in change. What can we do in the future? Look forward. Look forward. Not reactive. Where is the world is going? What can we do? How can we better our people's lives? With the knowledge that we have, with the technology that we have, with medicine, things that will change. Okay? Now comes with the volunteerism. Why do we want to volunteer? First, for me personally, volunteerism, particularly when you go to your own country, you will get to see the problems on the ground. For you to know technology, making changes, knowing business, medicine, it's almost useless unless you know the problem on the ground. Some of the problem, for example, NGOs have is they think they have answers for the problems without knowing what's on the ground. So when you go to these places, when you volunteer, if you're in Sawa, for example, what do you learn? If you go in the countryside, you do some, some type of work, what does it need? Water? Busai uh, Yaman was telling us the details what our country needs as far as electricity, as far as water, as far as our existence, as far as our economy, right? How do we make it better? Are we waiting for government policies or should we learn? Because in a few years, you and I will be the, per the people that will make policies. Are we ready for it? That's a good question. But if you want to do, do volunteerism, go not just for one month, go for one year. Go for six months. Do service. If you're scared of the military, you could do other service. I'm one of those people scared of the military. But then, uh, I couldn't do what Henok did. I can applaud Henok. But if I have to, if I'm asked to do, I will have to. Okay? So if you want to go, you should, don't say, oh, I don't know who to ask. Hey, you're in YPFTJ, right? You have connections from Yamanaka up to all the way down. You can go to, if you go back to, uh, to your country, you can go to Nui's office. Uh, there's a lot you can do. There's, uh, there's no shortage of what you can provide for your country. Okay? You can work on any ministries. The ministries that I work was not in Silicon. It was the uh, Ministry of Education at the Board of Higher Education and the uh, College of Al Halal. That's don't limit yourself. Okay, don't limit yourself. Most of it. Uh, this is my story. Before I went to to do the service, oh no, I have so much school uh, loans. I have to work. I have to, you know, I have to do my own life. I have to invest on myself, get a house, and who's going to pay my bills. But now I found out it's, it's just something that holding me up just in my thinking, just like this horse. This horse can just walk around. It, it can do whatever it wants, right? Look where his mind is. I can't do it. Get rid of it. Get rid of that thinking. Just go and find out if you can do it or not. 
Because it's, once you do it, what you get out of it is so bigger than what, what this, uh, your workplace can pay you. Even it's bigger than the loans you have. So while I was in Asmara, uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to meet him. I've seen him around, but I never knew who he was. The beauty of YPMPJ, we met here. Um, in this conference. And uh, he came here from Asmara, I came here from Asmara. He's going back to Asmara, I'm going back to Asmara. I didn't know he did all this uh, military service, so he was not included on this. So just make sure you include him. <laughs> but there is a favorite class she's teaching, she's a lecturer at the minor field. Uh, Eritrean Institute of Technology, Ruth Nagash, uh, member of YPAPJ. She has been in EIT for three years. Radiate Kuflet as myself at Al Haden, Jerusalem Testified of PhD. She's teaching at Orotan School of Medicine. Dejan, where is Dejan? Is Dejan here? Dejan is not here, but he was doing a service at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So did Stephanie, they both are members of YPFDJ. And then we have Naom Yordanos from, uh, from USA and Meron from Canada. They are doing their military training in Sawa as we speak right now. When I was, on Thursday when I was flying here, they were driving to Sawa. Abadi Tembana, they're working in orphanages. Now, I want you to ask yourself where you want to serve. What do you want to do? What do you want to contribute? I mean, at least by the time you leave this room, you should have an idea of it. If you need help, it's a lot of us that went through it, so we can, we can give you more ideas. More of it from this on is, there's photos, this is photo from uh, my nephew college. You can see Faye Pazai working on her next lecture. And Ruth Nagash is doing a speech. Uh, my nephew is. And this, this is Halhala, this is the school I teach at. It's, a, it's an hour away from, uh, from Asmara. So we commute every day. The good thing there is a, a service bus, as you can see it on the bottom left. So they give us free transportation from the school to Asmara. Uh, nearby from, uh, from the college, there is a farm, it's a long farm. There's a giga, as you can see it, a dam. Uh, up on the right side, that's our lunch. And the lunch is, uh, is really, it's good. <laughs> it is. It's good. So they feed us uh, breakfast and lunch. If you want to stay, of course, you can get dinner, but at 4 o'clock you have to leave, of course, if you want to go to your uh, house in Asmara. All right? Uh, there is shortages of material, of course. I want to tell you this part. I want you to know, understand this part. Uh, the government spends a lot of money hiring even outsiders to have teachers for their students. Te paying outsiders. They have to pay for food, water, you know, you know that our problems, electricity, and none of the students pay a dime. Even myself, I didn't pay anything for all the food and, and uh, medical uh, help, uh, all the benefits with the exception of the payments. Uh, teaching materials is a problem. Books is a problem. Maybe we can help with this, right? We are revolutionaries, right? Huh? Actually, I should use uh, the word which I am to use. We are Kadir, activists. We make changes. 
So today, we have to commit. How do we help? We're not helping them with food or water. The government does that. Can we give books? Can we give, uh, if you cannot send a book, you can send it on PDF, email it. If you have an e-reader that doesn't work or you don't need it, send it. Very useful. Okay? Because we are YPF Dijate. Now you learn some stuff. I've uh, learned IT and management at school, but nothing has taught me as Hal Hala College because that's where you learn management. Management is from a meager uh, resources being able to have a bigger production. That's what management is. And the administrators, the dean, Teachers at Hal Hala, they make it happen. With a very low amount of resources, they can have 1,500 students having all the resource, at least the basic resource they need to have a college run. All right? If not, the students also learn from this problem. The problem is actually what gets you to the solution. Look at it this way. For example, the picture on the uh, bottom left, I really like it. it. It was giving me a tour to what the students came up inside the campus. All right, since there's, there's a shortage of water, you can see it, you know, they're washing up, hanging it on a tree. Once you finish the water that is used up, it's used also to water to uh, the tree. So you can see the bottom right is the aftermath. All right, the top left. The boy, the Ms. Ayabar was talking about power, electricity issues. This time it's not, you know, TV or something, but it's students that want to study. If there is no power. Uh, what can you do? Flashlight. With this flashlight and other, uh, I don't know exactly what they used, they came up with a lump. You can use it, pretty much you can study. You can sit here for hours and have a source of light for your study. So these are the students. Do you, teach, uh, do you think I was teaching students? I felt like I was learning. Seriously, I was learning. There is also YPFDJ. This is Bissot's man. There is YPFDJ at the college, almost at every college. There is also Nui at every college. All right, the top left, uh, that was during March 8th, Women's Day. This is really, the YPFDJ made it happen. YPFDJ also, uh, as you can see it on the picture on the bottom left, there is a bookshelf. Of course, it's not a big bookshelf. But they make books available for uh, students to read. So they borrow and they read, and that place is always busy. One thing that I've learned from uh, Al Hala, there's no shortage of readers. There's a shortage of books. Uh, on the top right, that was a celebration for New Year's. YPMDJ made it happen. YPMDJ uh, raised money and have a big lunch for the students. There is an issue with blood, blood bank. So who can give blood bank? The youth. Who can make this happen? YPMDJ made it happen. These are activists. And of course we have students giving blood. I am not lying to you. I have never given blood. For the first time in my life I gave blood. The first time. So I'm, I'm telling you, I've learned, I'm learning. Okay, go on this. This is also more of an activity on the top left. It might be hard to see it. YPFDJ has started uh, an audio, audio visual. It's pretty much watching uh, 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 movies, videos for learning purposes. So if you have anything that I can take as a gift, I will take it. 
So they can every Monday they watch that and they discuss about it. Okay. On the top right, you can see uh, another activity. This activity is called Kanabana. It comes from the word Kavana Navana. Okay, students for students. So you learn from each other. You debate. There is debates. Uh, do we need communism? Do we need capitalism? What do we need? What is Eritreanism? What is anism? Hmm? What is business? Everything is debatable, everything is talked about. Sometimes over a boon. You can see it from uh, bottom left. And bottom right is during the uh, Women's Day. We had a, a, a competition with question and, you know, uh, what is it called? Uh, the question competition, question and answer competition. But instead of, you know, the young students, it was the old ladies that cooked for us, so they were answering questions. All right, so that, that was for fun part. So these are the students, students of Halhana. First of all, just like Hinok, they have done their military training and service. Okay, and now after they are in college, they are still serving, still serving. Hinok and Joy say. We might give some percentage of our time and money. Eritrean youth give 100%. 100%. When the people, when they have fun, when the people need them, they are there. When they need them for blood, here we go. You see it on the top left? When they need them to do some type of work, haggard, on the top right, taking chairs from one a room in the college to the another one, they do it. Uh, when I started teaching in September, there was rain, it shouldn't rain at the time, and it messes up the farmer's, uh, the farmer's uh, food. Who's gonna help those farmers? So we had to cancel two days of classes so that students would go to Matot and help Families of the martyrs, families of the youth that have been uh, sacrificed for their country's cause, those families that don't have help, who was helping them? Students from Hal Hale. So they were, they were doing labor work. You can see it on the right side. These students, if you, if you want them for military, it took out them. If you want them to work as a farmer, they will farm. At this time, the government needs them for education and they are at school learning. All right? Now there's some do's and don'ts. The one on the right, I have to read it now, it's don'ts. This is after we were discussing from our experiences, what, should you, what you should do, whether you do Volunteerism, or whether you do go to uh, your to your country for fun, some of the things you should do. You accept your role as an activist. As a YPMPG, you are an activist. Okay, you're not just uh, a tourist that will go to Asmara for. Oh, they are so nice. No, you are an activist. That is your country. Say, try everything, travel everywhere. If you have to walk, if you have to take a bus, do it. Participate in every discussion, debates. That's the best, best way to learn uh, your language, to, uh, uh, to learn from your peers. And it's really good to find your comrades inside the country at Nui's in YPMPJ. And it says, open up for learning, not just teaching. Don't go with the mentality that, oh, I will go to teach them. No, you will learn <coughs> first. Seriously, you will learn first. Don't seclude yourself. Don't just go in some nice places where nobody goes on, goes in. Go around, go see everything. Don't seclude yourself, don't be stuck up. I've, I've uh, used this for 
Then I was, oh, this, this place thinks I don't want to go to this place. If, if you are a white belt DJ, if you are an activist, if you are helping the masses, the masses that cannot pay you, you have to go where they walk. You have to walk their walk. And don't use shortcuts. If things go wrong, don't just pay your dollar and go back to... You can do that. But that's not why prayer DJ. That's not why you buy. You don't give up. If it's one year, do it for one year. Don't give up. Challenges will come. Don't give up. Don't use shortcuts. So this is what we have learned. You know, this is what I said earlier. Be proactive. There's much to learn in Erita. It gives you time to learn in Erita anyways. Uh, we found out also our contribution is not the best contribution. It's just a drop in the ocean. It's just a drop in the ocean. So earlier you was asking if all of us would go. Yes, we should go. We should go. Not just go, but go as an activist to make changes. Are young people leaving? Yes. Go talk to them. Go talk to them. I'm hoping when I'm teaching, I'm always thinking, are these stu all these students going to leave after they graduate? Or are they going to stay and help? That's, that's a question I have to ask. So I will go into this. We could not see the top. It says our generation and YPFDJ. This is our generation. But before we do that, I also want to tell you about the students we have. Uh, one class that I'm teaching, half of the students are from Sarajevo. That means they are in the army. They've been serving the country since I don't know how long, 1998 until now. They've been given a chance to go through the school system that they put aside while they were serving their country. They took matric, the 12th grade matriculation again, and they were given a chance to go to college. And they are fourth year right now. And they will graduate. That's a lot of them. Don't you think that's, that's a big opportunity? And if you are able to teach, you should do it. You should go and learn. There's nothing that will make you happy spending your time with these with these young people that have done so much for the country, so much. So I will. It's uh, I told us on Friday say not a net kafagarata halap net ayhaye for your company. That means that's a net is tougher. It's tougher to maintain. Are we going to keep this? Our Parents, they did their, their parts. We can always complain, we can always ask them questions. And the future is going to be our fulfillment. Can we do it? That will give us to the next one. I'm sure you know Franz uh, Fernand. This is a very accorded uh, words of his. It says, each generation must, it must, out of relative obscurity, it must discover its mission, fulfill it, or betray it. <coughs> Yesterday we were sitting, talking about our objectives, right? Huh? Our objectives on national security, our objectives on empowering our people in the diaspora, and also contributing to the development of uh, our nation. That's our objective, right? But now we have to practice it. We've been planning for three days, right? Uh, I'm gonna quote uh, Mike Tyson on this one. Uh, Mike Tyson says, you listening? Mike Tyson said, everyone has a plan until they get punched. Once you punch someone, oh, the plan is gone. But in our case, as your mother, your Rob said, when we get punched, we get even stronger. Right? 
But now is a question. The planning we have done it for three days, but we have to do the walking for 362 days until we meet next year. All right? <laughs> so that will take us to the next. Most of us that were uh, back, this is the message they, they want. They want me to give. It's like walk, walk, I mean, walk the talk. Walk the talk. The plan is good, but everything that we have planned, we have to do it. If we have to increase our membership, we have to do it. If we have to work nights, sometimes sleepless nights, I don't know how many sleepless nights you had to for UK chapter to make this happen for us. Right? That's walking. Walk the talk.
Shine, baby, we 